Hello viewers. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Parish Naik. I am an ENT consultant. So, what are we having today? Quite an interesting scan is something which has got a lot of academic and clinical value. This XYZ person presented with nose block had multiple sprays and there was no effect. So finally, the patient had a CT scan. What does it look like? As always, we are going for our favorite scan. Uh, we are going for a coronal section. As we proceed from anterior to posterior, immediately what we see is that there is overcrowding at the anterior nasal cavity. The inferior turbinate is quite medialized and also not just that they are swollen they are hypertrophy they are enlarged so there is bilateral inferior turbinate enlargement the next most important thing that you see can you identify this thing the structure let me give you a hint this is a middle turbinate so what is the variation of this middle turbinate there is a large air cell the middle turbinate has pneumatized. This is concha bullosa or concha bullosa. You can say whatever it, it you want. Tomato, tomato, doesn't make a difference. It is air cell in the middle turbinate. So at this level, can you see there is so much of overcrowding of the nasal cavity? It's population explosion. There is a hardly any air space or there is hardly any space where the air can go in such kind of patients will definitely benefit from or surgery of the inferior and middle turbinates one more thing i would like to show you can you see this this is anterior ethmoidal artery we need to be careful it is coming in the air cell it is not going in the skull base very high chance of injuring that this is an incidental polyp it does look like a teardrop sign in case of orbital fracture but in this case the middle turbinate the inferior turbinate enlargement is quite significant such kind of patients will benefit from surgery they will reward you only one thing i would like to advise this kind of surgeries can have a lot of adhesion formation. So please put a septal splint whenever you do this surgery. I know it's going to be slightly painful when you're removing, but it will be very helpful. Thank you for listening.